<laughs> oh my water broke and then it broke again and then it broke again and again so we're going back after they sent me home two hours ago when I was three centimeters dilated and 80% effaced oh <sighs> baby is ready to come soon Um, I had popsicles. They brought me some. Did you already take the trash? You were asleep. Well, you want to give an update? Well, I'm feeling high right now because they put some some good good in my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they could have given me 50 but they gave me 100 and I filled it anyways how long have we been here for whoa this freaking leg can you help me never mind you're comfy oh <laughs> I can't I think we've been here since like 5 30 because my water broke at 4 30 yes and we came at around 2 a.m. Or I think we left around 1 a.m. Got here or left around 2 a.m. They sent me home. I was three centimeters dilated and 80% effaced. And then they sent me home and I was sad because it was my second time going home. And then um, two hours later after we tried sleeping, he got to sleep a little bit, which was good at home. Um, but I kept waking up with like even worse contractions and then I was like I'm gonna go take a shower because I need some relief So I took a shower and then I got in the bath. I just sat there for a little bit And I felt like I was peeing a little bit Like I pushed it out because it felt like I had to pee but it wasn't yellow and then it happened again And then when I got out a few minutes later, um, I felt the same like sensation and I just let it out and it was my water bag that was breaking so um, we left right away to the hospital everything was already ready since we had just gotten back two hours ago and we've been here since they COVID tested me but it wasn't that bad they put it in this one and um, as soon as I got here they just put me in room 7 say hi which is the room where I was born. I wonder if your mom, oh no. Oh. What was I saying? They put me in room seven and then they checked me if I was dilated. I had only dilated, what was it, four and a half? I think I was four and a half and I was still 80% effaced. And she told me that she could still feel the baby's water bag so she broke it. And then as soon as she broke it, I started shaking. Like, my whole body was just, like, kind of shaking. And I stayed like that the whole day. Like, I'm still a little bit shaking. It's because my blood pressure is probably high because I moved. Is it? Yes. Oh. Um, and then what? I forgot what I was saying. I still feel so high. Oh yeah, so then they told me that they're going to put me in the shower and then put me on Pitocin. And I was like, I don't want Pitocin. And she was like, well, you're going to get it. And I was like, okay. And then in the shower, it was so bad, huh? He had to get in with me because I couldn't tolerate the pain. I was just screaming and it just hurt so bad. And I decided, okay, well, if they're going to put me on Pitocin, it's going to get even worse. So I'm going to get that drill. And I didn't want to, but... I knew it would be better for me because I was so tired because I haven't slept like the past three days. Um, 
and then so we got it and it was like instant relief <sighs> and then what and then what and then they put me on Pitocin so good that they did that for that they did my epidural first then put me on Pitocin and then what oh I don't even know what I'm saying so I've been sleeping on and off ever since and homeboy over here has been sleeping like non-stop like you don't even wake up he ate he woke up to eat and then um he fell back asleep my mom brought him food and what 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 hold on and then i had bad <laughs> contractions in my back um which is why my contractions on the monitor were looking like if i was having two like it would get bad it would stop but then i would have another one right away and that was because um I'm experiencing back labor and it wasn't too bad until like about 30 minutes or an hour ago I asked the nurse to come in and reposition me because my back um, contractions were really bad so she came in she saw the pain that I was in um, repositioned me and then asked the doctor to come check me because I haven't been checked since I got here and she told me I was nine point I was nine and a half centimeters dilated and I couldn't believe it because I haven't been experiencing pain like the contractions at the beginning were so bad and to just be like laying here sleeping throughout my labor um, I couldn't believe it so I started crying because I couldn't believe that I'm about to meet our baby are you excited <laughs> So yeah, but my contractions, how would you explain my contractions earlier from your point of view? <laughs> Was I screaming? I couldn't take it. There were some after I got out the shower because the shower made them come so much and so quick. So those ones were like really, really bad and I didn't expect to have those contractions until way later on. Um, of in the day so i was like if this is how it's gonna be all day i can't because i'm exhausted and i don't want to get to the point where i'm pushing and i have no energy at all so i decided to get it when i got out the shower um it was it was a little bit easier for me huh? when i got out the shower and the nurse told me that i handled one that i impressed her when i handled one but it was just like one or two that I kept breathing through the right way and after that it just got bad again so we asked we called her on the little button here and asked her to come in um, so I could get up a girl and yeah and see I'm still like shaking ever since oh, oh I'm not thinking that look I've been having like it's like the chills or something but I don't know oh but I've been like that ever since basically we got here because they um, broke my water and ruptured the membrane. I don't know what it's called, but something about mem membrane. So she was like, first she ruptured my, first she broke my water and it was like, and then she did this thing where it was like, oh, did you see that? Going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what the heck? And then even more gushed out. And ever since that, I've just been shaking. I don't know what it is, but that's about it. So when they checked me out that I was nine and a half centimeters dilated, um, she said that there's still part of my cervix that is um, in the way. So the baby's head isn't down completely. So that means um, when I hit 10 centimeters, she still might not be all the way down. So I'm not going to push until her head is in the right place so that I'm not working overtime. That was what um, the nurse and doctor suggested. Suggested so we still might be here for a few hours, but they're hoping that I take 20 minutes to an hour pushing, and then we'll meet our baby. I'm excited and I feel so high, so and sleepy at the same time, but we will see you later.
was on chemotherapy the whole, the whole time that she was teaching full time. And I think teachers also want to come back to in-person instruction, but it's just really hard because of their health conditions too. So I don't have the answers for any, but here are some questions to be asking. I would ask about putting into place and also about whether remote instruction is available as an option for all the students and teachers too. And I know Sanjay has kids in Georgia and may have other ideas too. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think it's, yeah, I mean, that's a good point. And I think that the yeah, idea that students have a lot of data that's important and for his government. And now, once again, that's where you see the kind of comparison. Joe Biden is a man who has put his taxes out there for everyone to see. He's also going to have an inspector general. I see the work he did in the last bailout with the Obama Biden administration. Donald Trump. in 2020 could not be clearer. And that's why I'm in this fight all the time. Thank you. Same to you. If the president thinks that Black Lives Matter is a symbol of hate, he's not going to like it. Don't worry, she can't. Now, can you take pictures of the video? Mm -hmm. So, I want you to um, pull off your mask for a second. Pull off your mask for a second.